Yeah, I think. All right. So let, let I, last time I just I made a mistake here. I forgot to bring this x squared down to. So here, don't forget this x squared. And so just because I'm here, I'll in, I'll integrate this for you here. This delta is uh, this ea pops out because these are constants. Okay. And then here, zero. Oh, I don't want to write that. So I'll undo that. Bam. Okay. But this integral is would just be minus twenty kilonewtons times x plus uh, three fourths kilonewton per meter squared times x cubed over three, and evaluated from zero to two meters. Okay. And then you just plug and chug and get delta from there, and and you're good to go. The one thing you want to keep keep an eye out on is because the diameter is given to you in millimeters, 60 millimeters, and the um, modulus of elasticity is in, uh, I think it was like 16,000 or 18,000 GPA. I don't know what GPA, oh, 13.1, oops, 13.1 GPA. Just remember a GPA is, uh, this is the same as 13.1 kilonewtons per millimeter squared, okay, which is also the same as 13.1 times 10 to the ninth newtons per meter squared and it's also the same as 13.1 times 10 to the 6 kilonewtons per meter squared okay all right and or 10 to the 6 newtons per millimeter squared uh, is uh, you know anyway just make sure you're conscious of these units don't make don't make these kinds of you know careless mistakes all right anyways hopefully you enjoyed the video go ahead ask me any questions you know things like that Later.